Hi, welcome back to brainstemschool.com. This is Mike again with today's lesson on more complicated branching structures, if, elif, else. So elif is short for else if, and it should be thought of as otherwise if. The elif condition will only be evaluated in the case that the if expression is false. But unlike if, another condition is evaluated. So the syntax is if this do that, elif this, do something else, else do another thing. And when you have this structure, you're guaranteeing that exactly one action will occur. As soon as one of these cases is true, none of the other actions will occur, just the one that is corresponding to the true case. Let's modify our previous example, where the user has to pick a number between 1 and 10. This time, we'll add the elif case to accommodate anything close, but not quite the exact correct answer. In this example, you see our elif case is asking if num is equal to 2 or num is equal to 4. If it is, it's close, but not quite. So once again, looking at all the examples, we'll get it right the first time, and it says you got it and it does not even bother asking any of the other questions in the elif. If we get it completely wrong, as we expected, it gives us the message. No luck this time. However, if we're close, it says we're close, but not quite. And it works on both sides. So you can see if the first case is false, it goes to check the second case. And if and only if that case is also false, do we end up in the else case. The flowchart gets a little more complicated as it branches in three different ways. Now if you wanted to, you didn't have to use the boolean or operator you could actually have two separate cases. So for instance, if you wanted to have a different message if it's a little low. So in this case, when I enter 2, it says close but a little low. And if I were to enter 4, close but a little high. You can have as many cases as you want, but one thing to keep in mind is that each case will only execute if none of the previous cases have executed. So if we were to say something like, if num is less than 5, and click run, well, when I say 3, it tells me I got it because the very first case is if num is equal to 3. If I say 2, it tells me close but a little low because the second case is true when num is equal to 2. Only in the situation where I input 4 does it say close but a little high. Num is less than 5. Even though 2 and 3 are both less than 5, since they're already taken care of by the previous cases, they are not factors here. And as expected, any other number gives us the else case. And when you get a chance, head over to brainstemschool.com. Check out the ebook. And happy coding.